What's up guys? Welcome to 2024. <laughs> now I know it's, well it's like February and I am kind of sick at the moment just if my voice sounds a bit deeper or anything. Saturday and Sunday especially I was stuck in bed. I could not move. I don't know what it is and I don't know what it was but I was very very sick. I was coughing, I was puking, I had a blocked nose, I had a headache, my body was sore. It was, it was actually the worst I have been. I don't think I've ever been this sick, well I don't think I've ever been sick this much in my life. It's now officially 2024 and I hope you're sticking to everything that you said you were going to do for this year and I hope you're sticking to all your, I guess, resolutions. Even though I think that's stupid. Let me get this straight. I want to talk about resolutions, New Year's resolutions. They're stupid if you say them every year and don't do them. But if you actually like, okay, this year I'm genuinely going to make a difference. Fair enough. But it's stupid that you have to wait for a number to change on your phone just so you can start being good. Instead be like, okay, I'm gonna improve my work ethic this year or I'm gonna improve my fitness this year. Don't just look at it as this is something I'm doing because of the new year. I'm No, make it because you're doing it for yourself. Now me personally, I have things for this year that I'm like, okay, I just wanna work more and I just wanna go to the gym more, I wanna eat more healthy. But I'm not doing that cause, just because it's the new year. Like I was already focused on them things. But I'm not doing them because it's just the new year. I was doing them things already and I just wanted to improve them so by the end of the year I could see more results. You know, there's common resolutions like go to the gym. People will go to the gym for two weeks. The gym will be packed for two weeks and then they see no one. And I don't want you to be one of those people. I want you to be those people who actually stick to your word and stick to what you say you're gonna do and actually make a change. That's what makes people actually respect you and that's what makes people actually like you. Now, changes in my life. The last year has actually kind of been an eventful one for me. I've figured out a lot about myself and a lot about how I want to act and a lot about what I want to actually do with my life and my purpose and what I enjoy and what I don't enjoy and what works best for me and everything. And I genuinely think every year you're going to just constantly learn. Like every year is a learning path. Now, I don't like the saying this year, new year, different year, next year, last year, because all it is is it's just the same days over and over again. Like the days don't change each year. Like it's the same it's still, it's still going to be autumn, winter, spring, summer. It's still going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's still going to be January, February, March. It's the same thing. So it's nothing different. So just continue what you're doing. Just improve. That's how I like to look at it. You know, you're just constantly going to be learning every single day. And you're constantly going to be figuring things out about yourself and about other people. Even if you live with someone, you're going to figure out something about them. Especially if you're living with them for a certain amount of time. Or if you're friends with someone for a certain amount of time, you're gonna figure out things about them as well. Like me personally, I even realized my speech has improved and my maturity has even improved. And even in the space, you'd be surprised in the space of a six months, your maturity could improve and you could grow up mentally. My physique has improved. I put some photos up here. I've been going hard in the gym for the last six to eight months. I've been really knuckling down, eating good food, and really training hard every single day. I've been spending a lot of time with my close friends lately as well and actually being closer with them, which has actually made me feel a bit happier as well lately. I'm going to the gym with my friends as well. I also got a new car now. I was gonna make a video on this, but I never really got around to it. But I got a new car, I got a Volkswagen Jetta. I'm gonna obviously put some photos on the screen here. I'm so happy with my new car. I remember the day I got it, I was just really happy. Now I have a couple of things done to it, I have tints, Obviously have a few things for the inside of the car. Now I do want to get a few more things done to the car, but obviously I'll update you when I get them done. Now yeah, I didn't actually make a separate video about my car, but I definitely said I'll mention it to you in some video. I think it's unreal because when I actually am driving now, which will, which should be shortly, which should be shortly, I should be driving around the road. I can even make videos in my car and stuff. But yeah, I said I'll make a little vlog just to kind of, I guess, update the channel on everything that's been going on in my life and what I've been doing and how I've been keeping. I guess this is going to be the main message of this video and it's to not procrastinate. I've figured out in the last few months that procrastinating not only does it waste time but you're going to regret it. And there's two types of pain in life, there's pain of regret and the pain of discipline. 
And I think the pain of discipline is so much better than the pain of regret. Because the pain of regret is going to sit with you for hours, days, months, years. But the pain of discipline, the pain of walking to the gym is only going to last 10 minutes. The pain of working is only going to last 10 minutes. Because once you get into a flow state, you actually forget about it and you start to enjoy the process. You're only gonna end up wasting time and that's wasted potential, that's wasted opportunities. And what life is about is about taking every single opportunity and getting experience. And that's what you want. I wasted so much time just procrastinating and thinking about working, but not actually working. It's not worth it. Just knuckle down on your goals and don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Whatever you wanna do, just do it, genuinely. Of course, now you can't just dive into something first. You have to study, you have to learn, but you can even do that while working on something. You can even learn through experience. Experience is the best way to learn, so remember that. You shouldn't be wasting time sitting around procrastinating because it's not going to make you happy. Actually working, actually chasing your goals is what is going to make you happy. Sitting around never, never made me actually feel good, but when you work, you feel this sense of accomplishment and you're actually proud and you're like, thank God I did that. Thank, like, thank God I actually worked. God is watching and God is gonna witness it. And I'm gonna do it for myself and my family. I'm gonna do it for God as well. Now, I'm not some motivational speaker. I'm not here to give you a spike of motivation for that to go in 10 minutes. I want you to actually work, like genuinely after watch, if you are watching this video and you're at home, I want you to just get to work now, like genuinely, I want you to get to work now. Of course enjoy my videos, I'm not saying don't enjoy yourself, of course, find something you enjoy, enjoy your work, don't make it something that's hard to do, don't make it something that's, oh, I have to work now, oh fuck's sake I have to go to the gym now, no, say I get to go to the gym, at least I get to work. At least I have the opportunity to start a business. At least I have the opportunity to start a YouTube channel. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment if you're related with this video as well. And yeah.